Hey guys, it is Monday, February the 13th, 2023, and I just got to come back on and readdress something here that I turned to this morning in my quiet time, and when I saw I had turned to Luke, I was like, ugh, I don't want to read Luke, but then my eyes fell right back on these verses right here, and now I know in my last video I talked about Luke misquoting Yeshua in the Lord's Prayer. How he had placed the words in the wrong prophetic order. And I talked about this in my last video. Now, <clears throat> this, I believe, is a far more dangerous misquote of Yeshua than anything else Luke could say. And I'm going to go into some detail about this. I've talked about this in another video, but this needs to be highlighted. So we're going to look over these verses here and compare them to what Yeshua says in Matthew. Luke 17, 3-4 Take heed to yourselves if thy brother trespass against thee. Rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. If he repents, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to say to thee, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. Now, guys, I want you to look back at everything you know about Yeshua. Did he practice this quote that Luke has him saying? When he was hanging on that cross, did he wait till anyone asked forgiveness before he said, Father, forgive them? Now, we can look at what Yeshua really said here in Matthew 6. And it starts in verse 14 here. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Now what's important to note right here is that Yeshua is speaking to believers He's just taught them how to pray. And he's not speaking to praying unbelievers, <laughs> right? He's not telling people how to pray that are unbelievers. He's just given us the layout for the Lord's Prayer in Matthew 6. And he follows it immediately up with the fact that we must forgive others if we are to receive the Father's forgiveness. And we know that no sin enters into heaven. So repentance is the first requirement to maintain your salvation. And for those of you that say it was all done on the cross and we don't need to repent, everything has been done for us, past, present, and future sins were all forgiven in that moment. I would ask you to go read Revelation 3, 4. Because that details to the church of Sardis that some did not defile their garments. And so I fully believe that Yeshua gave us all who believe and obey in him, obey him, white garments. It is up to us to keep them from being defiled. After we've been given these white garments, we must work on getting out any spot or wrinkle. We must keep them from being defiled in our daily walk. And that is through repentance, first and foremost. Because we're going to fail, we're going to fall, we're going to sin as we walk this journey. We're fallen and we're in these corrupt flesh suits. But we must repent when we do fall and he'll help us. But then the most important thing following repentance is forgiveness. Because we can repent all day long. But if we do not forgive others, then we will not receive forgiveness. We don't forgive others because they've asked. We forgive others because we need it. We need the Father's forgiveness. And if you repent, but you don't forgive others because they've not specifically come and apologized to you, according to Luke's quote of Yeshua, then you are not forgiven, no matter how much you repent. Luke's misquote about forgiveness is giving many permission, 
in the red print to harbor unforgiveness toward others who will never come and apologize to you. If that's what you're waiting on before you'll forgive them, because Luke has Yeshua saying that, then you may die waiting on them and harboring that unforgiveness toward them in your heart, and the Father won't forgive you. It's very plain right there in Matthew 6, 15. But in Luke, we need to only forgive others if they ask us. Right there. If they repent, then forgive them. Yeshua would have never said that. In Matthew, it is clear we forgive because we need forgiveness. But in Luke, we need only forgive others if they ask. Guys, some will never ask you to forgive them. You may even go to them and say that you forgive them for things they've done. And they may tell you, I don't want forgiveness. I didn't do that. <laughs> right? I've actually had that happen in my life. The crowd that shouted, crucify him, never asked Yeshua to forgive them before he died on that cross. And yet, Yeshua says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. If Yeshua really said what Luke has quoted here for Yeshua in the red print, then why did Yeshua not wait for them to ask forgiveness? This is clearly a misquote of something that Yeshua would have never said. Forgiveness of others is not because they deserve it or they have asked. It's because we need it for ourselves. Do not wait on others to ask you to forgive them. You are not forgiving them for their sake. You're forgiving them for yours. Okay, guys, I just want to press this point home. I'm not saying you got to rip the whole book of Luke out of your Bibles, but pray with discernment. Read everything in Scripture with discernment. It's all a test. And you can watch Yeshua's life and know that what Luke has him saying right here could not have been said by Yeshua. All right, thank you all for listening. Have a great day.